It's Vlogmas day 18. I had a really lazy day today. I finished up with my Christmas cards. Here is the entire finished stack of Christmas cards, which is kind of insane. Um, most of them are going to you guys, um, people who commented on my Instagram story or DM'd me on Twitter or anything like that. So that's pretty exciting. This is my first time actually sending out Christmas cards and hopefully it can continue to be a yearly tradition. I wrapped two of Ryan's presents because he is at work right now and I'm watching the Polar Express. So that's what that was about. Um, it's almost over. So yeah, I wrapped two of his presents before he got home and then I basically just watched the Polar Express, so not very exciting day, but it's definitely much needed. I really love getting to just kind of relax and do my own thing. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is going to be our last day here before we are traveling for two weeks. So I have to do some laundry and get packing and everything, and tomorrow I'm going to have to go home and pick up our suitcases because we forgot to get them when we were back near my parents house yesterday so that is what's going on with me for the next couple of days uh ryan and i are going to go to the gym tonight probably and i'm not quite sure what we're going to have for dinner but we'll figure that out eventually he made buffalo chicken dip for us last night so i probably will just have some of that again i wanted to share some packages that i got the other day that i did not open on camera but i kind of just wanted to like share because they were pretty cool gifts um so first thing is a package from day designer they'd emailed me and just kind of thanked me for being on their affiliate team for this past year and offered to send me a planner so um most of you guys know i'm using the mia ellsworth planner and i absolutely love it because i was able to personalize it to how i like it and um how i will use it but i always wanted to just kind of look at and maybe try a day designer mini so that's what i asked for i got the palm print pattern which i think is so cute and it's the same as a normal day designer it's just like half the size the inside pages are the same it just goes from 7 a.m to 7 p.m um the only thing that i really really miss about the day designer is just so much space for to do's um so i might try and use this for the winter semester because i know it's going to be kind of crazy i love this and i'm thank you to day designer for sending it to me and then they also sent me this super cute washi tape it's like gold dots blue stripes and the palm print so this is really cute and some gel pens which i love these also I'm really excited I also got these Vans, which I already tried on, and I'm obsessed with them. They're um, the perforated leather, and there were kind of mixed reviews online, but I really just wanted some sneakers I could wear in LA that were also, like, still cute. So I haven't owned a pair. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of Vans, honestly, guys. So I'm really excited about these. So this is what they look like on. Obviously, I'm going to wear different socks. But I got an eight and a half, and they're kind of big on me. So I'm a little confused. I'm normally, like, in between sizes. Uh, but I really like them. I think they're super adorable. And they're going to be perfect for wearing with, with like, cropped jeans and, uh, you know, cute tops and stuff for walking around L.A. I also wanted to talk about this month's book of the month box. So, besides this one, I still have to read all of these books from book of the month. Um, if you guys want to know what book of the month is, it's basically a book subscription box. And they send you books. You get to choose a book from a list every month. Um, and then you can also add more books to your box for only $9.99, which is amazing when you're considering that they're all hardback books. Um, so I read this one already this year, Goodbye Vitamin. I read it because it was, I read it in one night because it was really short. But the rest of these, I still have to read. But the ones I wanted to talk about in particular were these two because they came in my box this month. The first book is called The Chalk Man and it's by CJ Tudor. And 
I picked this one up because they said that this is good for people who are into Stranger Things. And you have to look this one up. I'm not going to read the synopsis because I read it to Ryan the other day and it's kind of long. But you guys really need to check this one out, especially if you love Stranger Things. Um, it's set in the 80s and it just follows... Well, it's set in the 80s and 2016 and it just follows this group of kids and there's like a murder and it's, it's like a thriller mystery. Second book I got in this month's box is called The Wife Between Us and this is another one that looks really good. Um, this one's kind of like same thing, a thriller mystery type novel. And then the last book I got in this month's box is Turtles All the Way Down which I was kind of like not sure if I wanted to read it or not but after reading some reviews and just kind of like deciding I just wanted to have it and read it. Um, yeah, John Green used to be my all-time favorite author. I bought The Fall in Our Stars like the day it came out when I, I was still in high school then. Um, and I really, really liked him, but I don't know, just as I've grown up, I've read people's reviews and how they think of his writing and how they think of him in general, and I just kind of was on the fence. Yeah, so there are so many books on my shelf that I still need to read. It's kind of ridiculous, but I keep buying books. Like this video, if you can relate to having so many books that you still haven't read, but yet you continue to buy yourself more books, even though you know you have a bunch you haven't even read. This isn't even my whole book collection, by the way. A lot of my books are at home at my parents' house on that bookshelf, but this is just the ones that I've accumulated over the past few months that I, or that I still need to read. So, yeah, so those are the three packages that I got the other day that I kind of wanted to share with you. Um, yeah, so since I just finished the Polar Express, I'm probably going to read Big Little Lies because I'm trying to finish it before we leave. I'm not really sure if that's going to happen or not, but um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now, and I'll check back in with you guys later.